Welcome back. Quarterfinal action underway here at the Billabong Pipe Masters. And Adriano de Souza has all the pressure on his shoulders, taking on Josh Kerr for a spot in the semi finals. If Adriano doesn't make it through this heat, Mick Fanning will be the world champion for 2015. So a lot riding on this one for Adriano. The history working in his favour. Eight previous matchups with Josh Kerr, six going Adriano's way. And our competitors are out there in the lineup with just over 27 minutes remaining. Ross Williams, take us through what Jeez. unfolded in the break. Tail drop, a little tail tap drop there from Adriano de Souza. That was a 12. That was double anything we've seen so far today in terms of the quality of that wave. Uh, Adriano just was there a little late. He had to paddle out to that wave, turn around and air drop. Because that was such a wicked drop, he didn't have that nice line that entry into the barrel to make it out a little unfortunate he almost had a total christmas gift wrap score there to you know sail into the semis and now he's gonna have to earn it the hard way and i think that's something that mick fanning has taken away from andy irons uh he's just the terminator he's got that steely grit where he's come to play well here we go this is josh kerr now this is his shot had a quick score only had a one on his first wave a successful ride here but just a quick cover up we talked about the pressure on Adriano de Souza going into this heat, Ross. The fact that if he doesn't progress, his world title dream is over. He had an attempt at the best wave we've seen all morning, yeah. and he fell. And he hasn't fallen too often in this heat so far, in this event, I should say. Yeah, well, I mean, to give Adriano credit, he, he made the drop and pulled in, but he just was didn't have enough momentum. As we see, Josh Kerr, a real quick in and out there. Clever surfing, though, from Josh. He had that tiny little opening of a doggy door, as we like to call it. Uh, it's going to be, there it is, it's just a three. But again, we've seen threes have a lot of weight today. You know, these scores are tough to come by with this win. We'll see if that happens in this quarterfinal heat. A crucial one for De Souza as he takes off. He's in a good position, tucks into the tube. Can he find the exit? And he gets swamped by the foam ball. Just over 14 minutes to go. We're going to take a quick break. Only after a 2.01 to get himself into the lead. Just before the break, we saw him pull into a nice-looking little barrel, but he didn't find his way through. Ross, is it nerves that's getting to Adriano, or is the, the tricky lineup taking its toll? <laughs> well, there is just on 11 minutes and 20 seconds remaining in this heat. Adriano de Souza wants to get back out in front. He's having a look at this one. Just a quick peek. He kicks out. Josh Kerr can make life difficult. If he can convert priority into a big number on the next exchange. And Josh, he's just dropped anchor out there at the moment. He totally. Back up, brother. Security giving him some space. As we see De Souza keeping busy out here without priority. Has a look at another one, willing to take a chance on anything at this stage. Would be happy just to get the 2.01 at this stage to get himself into the lead. Knows that he already dodged the bullet in this heat because he took off on a really lousy wave in the opening seconds of this quarterfinal heat and just behind it Adriano de Souza paddled into the wave of the day but didn't make it de Souza looking to get himself the lead with this ride racing down the line just gets lipped in the head there five and a half minutes to go we saw Josh Kerr get a three for a cleaner cover not sure if that's going to be the number to get him back out in front and there is only five minutes and 25 seconds remaining this wave starting to stand up Josh alone at the takeoff zone no pressure when he pulls under the lip on this ride quick tube but didn't quite complete the exit we'll see the judges will have to make a, a tough call there but he's only looking to improve on a one to increase his lead and it's he's a good chance at regaining priority that close out so you know he did the hard part right here he tucked in he's gonna break through the pinch right here and then you can see the bottom of the wave just dropped out from underneath his board kind of like pulling a carpet from under your feet so he didn't really have complete control as he kicked out how you feeling Ross how's your guts it's kind of turning a lot it's I need a big hug after today Ronnie please uh, no <laughs> well have a look at this thing in insider Josh Kerr let it go to Souza. he finds some cover he gets barreled and he finds his way out two and a half minutes remaining and Josh Kerr gave him that wave 2.44, the required score. One minute and 45 seconds to go. De Souza is well on the inside. He might just get back to the takeoff zone to put some pressure on Kerr in the final stages. But let's have a look at the replay. 
Pretty technical, Ronnie. He was behind that pocket. Not a real long barrel, but you know, we're not looking at fancy tube riding today. It's just uh, trying to find an opening. So just a, a mini backdoor pocket. Maybe it's a couple of seconds of cover time. Uh, so I'm thinking it's gonna be, you know, the, easily the best score we've seen in this heat. So it's gonna turn the heat for sure. But I, again, I can't see this going really high. It's gonna be, uh, you know, numbers are just starting to fill in so you know Josh is gonna need just an okay score here it's not the end of the world but time is not on his side one minute remaining a 3.5 for DeSouza and Josh Kerr is now after a 2.51 55 wow. seconds remaining so he's gonna have a shot there is 30 seconds remaining Josh Kerr he's taken off he is stalling for the barrel he gets covered can he find his way out he can't find his way through he only kidding needed me. a 2.51. You're kidding me. He stalled running. He stalled for the barrel. And Adriano de Souza behind him now with just five seconds on the clock. He gets another cover up and squeaks his way through. Oh my gosh. What a finish. In quarterfinal number four, Josh Kerr. He was locked in, but locked in too deep. He got greedy. Yeah, that wave stayed open. Uh, that wave was totally ready for the taking there for a five or a six point ride and he stalled and really tried to max out the potential there. Got a little greedy and that's tough today with this win. These barrels are very tricky. He paid a big price. De Souza, the 28 year old, keeps his world title hopes alive. He is moving on through to the semifinals and he will be surfing against Mason Ho for a shot. Potentially at a world title. We'll see what unfolds in semi-final number one with Mick Fanning and Gabriel Medina now hitting the lineup. But there it is, a low scoring heat, Crazy. but super exciting. A bit of a microcosm of Adriano de Souza's year. You know, hard work, great decisions, a little bit of luck on his side. It's just all unfolding his way.